well. One does get used to the altitude. <laughs> what, 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 that's <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, sweet Adelaide. Your sister is so looking forward to this meeting. <laughs> oh, is she? Oh, she is. Right this way, then. Last lap. <laughs> Making it all right? I can't tell yet. No, I don't think so. Why do they make such twisting steps? <laughs> Last leg is the bad leg. Oh, <laughs> uh. oh my. <laughs> Since you wouldn't come down there, we thought we would come up. Huh. I'm sorry to intrude. But I have to see you, Claire. There are things to be arranged. Well, at least you have a view. <laughs> it's your first time up here. Yes, the five years you've had the place. I was never asked up here before. You weren't asked up here now. <laughs> Harry asked me. It isn't Harry's tower. But never mind, since you don't like it, it's all right. No, I confess I do not care for it. A round tower should go on being round. Well, Claire calls this the thwarted tower. <laughs> she bought the house because of it, didn't you, dear girl? She said she'd like to have known the architect. <laughs> Probably a tiresome person. Mm -hmm. Too incompetent to make a perfect tower. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now he's disposed of. What next? Next, Elizabeth. And you, Claire. Just what's the matter with Elizabeth? Nothing is the matter with her. She is a tower that is a tower. Well, is that anything I'm against her? She's just like one of her father's portraits. They never interested me, nor does she. A mother cannot cast off her own child simply because she does not interest her. Why can't she? Because it would be monstrous. And why can't she be monstrous if she has to be? You don't have to be. That is what I'm out of patience with you, Claire. You are really a particularly intelligent, competent person. And it's time to call a halt to this nonsense and be the woman you were meant to be. What inside dope have you on what I was meant to be? I know what you came from. Well, isn't it time someone got loose from that? What I came from made you, so... I see. So, you being such a tower of strength, why need I too be imprisoned in what I came from? It isn't being imprisoned. Right there is where you make a mistake. Who's in a tower? An unsuccessful tower? Not I. <laughs> I go about the world, free, busy, happy, among people. <coughs> I've no time to think of myself. No. No. My family, the things that interest them, from morning to night. Yes, I know you have a large family, Adelaide. Five, and Elizabeth makes six. We'll speak of Elizabeth later. But if you would just get out of yourself and enter into other people's lives, then I would become just like you. And we should all be just alike in order to assure one another that we're all just right. <laughs> But since you and Harry and Elizabeth and 10 million other people bolster each other up, why do you particularly need me? We don't need you as much as you need us. I never liked what I needed. I am convinced I'm the worst thing in the world for you, Claire. I'm afraid you're not. I don't know. Maybe you are. <laughs> <laughs> What is it you want, Claire? You wouldn't know if I told you. That's rather arrogant. Yes, take a chance, Claire. I have been known to get an idea, and Adelaide quite frequently gets one. You two feel very superior, don't you? I don't think we are the ones who are feeling superior. Oh, yes, you are. Very superior to what you think is my feeling of superiority. <laughs> Comparing my isolation to your heart of humanity. Soon we will speak of the beauty of common experiences of the... Oh, I could say it all before we come to it. Adelaide came up here to help you, Claire. Adelaide came up here to lock me in. Well, she can't do it. But can't you see that one may do that to oneself? 
Well, at least I've changed the keys. Tough, locked in. <coughs> Fuck them. Get that thought out of your head. Who's locked in? Nobody I know of. We're all free Americans. Free as air. <laughs> I wish you'd come and hear one of Mr. Morley's sermons, Claire. You're very old-fashioned if you think sermons are what they used to be. And do they still sing, Nearer My God to Thee? They do, and a noble old hymn it is. But do you no harm at all to sing it? Sing it to me, Adelaide. I'd like to hear you sing it. It would be sacrilege to sing it to you in this mood. Oh, I don't know. I'm not so sure God would agree with you. That would be one on you, wouldn't it? It's easy to feel oneself set apart. No, it isn't. It's a new age, Claire. Spiritual values. Spiritual values. So you have pulled that up. Don't think I don't know what it is you do. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, what does she do, Claire? It's rather clever what she does. Snatching the phrase, standing it up between her and the life that's there. And by saying it enough, we have life, we have life, we have life, all joining the chorus. This is it, this is it, this is it. And anyone who won't join in is to be visited by relatives. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think there's anything going on in you? I am not one to hold myself up as a perfect example of what the human race may be. Well, that's good. Claire. <laughs> Humility is a real thing, not just a fine name for laziness. Oh, well. Lord Almighty, you can't call Adelaide lazy. She stays in one place because she hasn't the energy to go anywhere else. I haven't energy. You haven't any energy at all, Adelaide. That's why you keep so busy. Oh, well, Claire's nerves are in her worst state than I'd realize. <laughs> so perhaps we should look at Blake's drawings. Mm -hmm. Oh, it would be all right for me to look at Blake's drawings. You had better look at the Sistine Madonna. <laughs> what is it, Claire? Why do you shut yourself out from us? I told you because I don't want to be shut in with you. All of this is not very pleasant for Harry. I want Claire to be happy. Funny, you should want that. Did you ever say a preposterous thing, then go trailing after the thing you've said and find it wasn't so preposterous? This is the circle we are in, being happy. It shoots little darts through the circle, and a moment later, happiness all gone, and you looking through that little hole the happiness left. Claire, dear, I wish I could make you feel how much I care for you. You can call me all the names you like. Dull, commonplace, lazy. That is a new idea, I confess. <laughs> but the rest of our family's gone now. And the love that used to be there between us all. The only place for it now is between you and me. You were so much loved, Claire. You ought to try and get away from a world in which you were so much loved. Mother, father, all of us always loved Claire best. We always loved Claire's unusual quirkiness. Now you've got to hand it to us for that, as the children say. But never one of you once looked with me through the little pricks the happiness made. Never one of you once looked with me at the quirky light that came in through the pricks. And can't you see, dear, that it was better for us we didn't? <laughs> and that it would be better for you now if you would just resolutely look somewhere else. <laughs> you must see for yourself. You have the poise of people who are held, well, within the circle, if you choose to put it that way. There's something about being in that main body, having one's roots in the big common experiences, gives a calm, which you have missed. That is why I want you to take Elizabeth. Forget yourself and I do want calm. But it would have to be a calm I worked my way to. A calm all prepared for me, but stink. I know you have to be yourself, Claire. 
but I don't admit you have the right to hurt other people. I think Claire and I had better take a nice long trip. Now why don't you? I am taking a trip. Well, Harry isn't, and he'd like to go. <laughs> and he wants you to go with him. Go to Paris and get yourself some awfully good looking clothes. And have one grand fling at the gay world. You really love that, Claire. And you've been awfully dull lately. I think that's the whole trouble. This sober business of growing plants. Not sober, <laughs> it's mad. All the more reason for quitting it. But madness that is the only chance for sanity. Come, come now. Let's not juggle words. How dare you say that to me, Adelaide? You who are such a liar and thief and whore with words. How oh, dare you? Why, you have such a preposterous use of words. I respect words. Well, you'll please respect me enough not to dare use certain words to me. Yes, I do dare. I am tired of what you do, you and all of you. Life, experience, values, call, sensitive words which raise their heads as indications and you pull them up and decorate your stagnant little minds and think that makes you. And because you have pulled that word from the life that grew it, you won't let one who is honest and troubled and aware reach through to, to what she doesn't know is there. Why did you come here? to try and help you. But I begin to fear I can't do it. It's pretty egotistical to claim that what so many people are is wrong. It's almost time for dinner. You were thinking of something else, Claire, when I told you Dr. Emmons was coming to see you. Sure, he's a neurologist. And I wanted to see you. I'm being perfectly honest with you. You know that. Cards all on the table. I'm hoping that if, if you like him, that he's the best scout in the world. That he can help you. Sure, you need help. Claire, your nerves are a little on the plate, but from all that you've been doing, there's no use making a mystery of it or a tragedy. <laughs> Emmons is a crackerjack. And, and naturally, I want to see you get a move on yourself and, and be happy again. And this neurologist can make me happy. Can make you well. And then you'll be happy. And I had just an idea about Elizabeth. Instead of working with mere plants, why not think of Elizabeth as a plant? And Tom, Tom, quick! I'm here, I'm in trouble! <coughs> oh! Oh! Claire, that was a rocket thing to do. You frightened him. Yes, how fast he can run. He was deep in thought and I stabbed right through. Well, he'll be none too pleased when he gets up here and finds out there was no reason for the stabbing. <laughs> yes, Claire, yes, yes. What is it? What is it? My sister. Is that all? I mean, how do you do? Pardon, I came up rather hurriedly. You want to slap Claire, Tom, I for one of no objection. Adelaide has the most interesting idea, Tom. She proposes I take Elizabeth and roll her in the gutter. Just let oh, her lie. Claire! Her I don't see how even in fun, pretty vulgar fun, you can speak of, in those terms of a pure young girl. I'm beginning to think that I had better take Elizabeth. I've thought that all along. And I'm also beginning to suspect that oddity may be just a way of shifting responsibility. Now you know that might be. Mother who does not love her own child? You are an unnatural woman, Claire. <laughs> well, at least it saves me from being a natural one. <laughs> oh, I know. You think you have a great deal. Well, let me tell you, you've missed a great deal. You've never known the faintest stirring of a mother's love. That's not true. No. Claire loved our boy. I'm glad he didn't live. Claire. I loved him. Why would I want him to live? Now, dear, I'm sorry I brought him up when you're not feeling well. I'm feeling all right. Just because I'm seeing something, it doesn't mean I'm sick. 
Well, let's all go down. It's almost dinner time. I shouldn't wonder if Emmons were here. Mm -hmm. Coming, Claire? No. But it's time for dinner. I'm not hungry. But we have a guest, two guests. Adelaide's staying as well. Then you're not alone. But I invited Dr. Emmons to meet you. <laughs> Tell him I am Violet tonight. Oh, dearest, how can you joke about such things? So you do think they're serious? No, I don't, but I want you to come to dinner. Come, come, Claire. You know quite well this is not the sort of thing one does. Why go on saying one does it when you are saying one does? <laughs> Will you stay with me a while? I want to purify the tower! Now, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> find time for a tete a tete. <laughs> Think a lot more of you, Edsworthy, if you refuse to humor Claire in this, in her ill breeding. It's not what she was taught. No, it is not what I was taught. <laughs> Perhaps you'd rather have your dinner? No. We'll get something later. I want to talk to you. Why am I so awkward with words when I go to talk to you? The words, no, they're not needed. No, they're not needed. There's something underneath, an open way, down below the way that words can go. It is there, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is there. I'm lonely up on top here. You see, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know how I could love you. Don't, Claire. That isn't, that's not how it is between you and me. But why can't it be every way between you and me? You're the only one that I want, the only one all of me wants. With anyone else. Not with you. You're cruel, dear. No, don't touch me since you're going away tomorrow. For always. India is just another country. But there are undiscovered countries. Tell me about your flower that never was before. Your breath of life. It's a secret. A secret. It's a trick. Distilled from the most fragile flowers there are, it's only air, pausing, playing, except far in one stab of red, it's quivering heart that asks a question. But here's the trick. I bred the air form to strength. The strength shut up behind us, I've sent far out. I will know tomorrow afternoon. And I will have another gift for a breath of life someday. Reminiscence, fragrance, that is no one thing in here but reminiscence. We need the haunting beauty from the life we've left. I need that. Claire. Let me reach my country with you. After all, they don't accept me. Who does accept me? Will you? Oh, my dear, dear, dear Claire. You move me so. <laughs> I'd be willing to take a chance. I'd rather lose than never know. No, no, no Claire. <laughs> Wouldn't men say you were a fool? They would. And perhaps you are. I feel so desperate <clears throat> because if only I could show you what I am. You do show me what you are.
I've known a few moments that were life. One was in the air. I was up with Harry. We were flying high. It was about four months before David was born. The doctor was furious. Pregnant women are supposed to keep to her. <clears throat> we were going fast. I was flying. I had left the earth. And then, for the first time, movement within me stirred to life, far in air, movement within. The man unborn, he too would fly. And so I've always loved him. He was movement and wonder. In his short life were many flights. I never told anyone about the last one. His little bed was by the window. He wasn't four years old. It was night, but him not asleep. He saw the morning star, you know, the morning star, brighter, stranger, reminiscent, and a promise. He pointed, Mother, he said, what is there beyond the stars? A baby, a sick baby, the morning star. The next night, the finger that pointed But yes, I am glad. He would always have tried to move and too much would hold him. Wonder would die. And he'd laugh at sorry. But I liked his voice. So I wish you'd stay near me. For I like your voice too. Claire, that's, that's almost too much. I know what it is you're afraid of. Passion. You feel that in me, don't you? You think it would swamp everything, but that isn't all there is to me. I know it. Do you think I'm a fool? I know. I know you. You're making me suffer, Claire. Why shouldn't you suffer? You know what I think about you. You know how it is with me and Dick. I don't want to hurt you. Let it be you. I can teach you. You needn't scorn it. It's rather wonderful. Stop. Stop that, Claire. That isn't you. Why are you so afraid? You're going away. I want to touch you, somehow touch you once before I die. To know, to fear, that's being good. That's nearer God. My beautiful one, Claire. You are away from me now. Yes, and I could keep going. But I will come back. That too, I will give you my by myselfness. It is the uttermost I can give. My dear one, I will love you so with all of me. Generous, unafraid, you never keep my holding. Just as I would cut my wrists and let the blood flow out till all were gone, if my last drop would make, would make. I want to see it doing that. Let me give my last chance of life to, no, don't listen, that, that's nothing. This is a bat. I know, I know, that's amorous, but it's enclosing this.
not into this.
You too. Why not? Is there anything more than you? <laughs> A question not all too pleasing to me. <laughs> Who can answer it? <laughs> yes. Who can answer it? I want to go with you and be with you and know nothing else. Claire, this is going a little too far. Far? You have to go far. I can't stay with them. Piling it up, always piling it up. I can't get through to He won't let me through to what I don't know is there. No, no, Daphne, don't, don't stand me up. I will go back. I will go back. I will remember what we tried to forget. <laughs> it's time to stop this by force if there's no other way. All I want is to die in the gutter with everyone spitting on me. <laughs> Why should I even bother to do that? Oh, you're sick, Claire. There's no denying it. Some things are quiet. Yes. Stop yes. it. You did. You. Not them. Not any of them. Claire. 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 Uh, you're overwrought. Really, you must. I'll tell you one thing. You'll answer to me for this. Rather be absurd than dead. What are you doing in here? Try not to get shot at you, Miss Snow. Shot? Yes, he has the revolver. Can't you give me a place where he can't get to me? Who? Harry! It's not what this place is for. Any place is worth saving a man's life. But Mrs. Archer ordered. Miss Archer will be angry at you if you get me shot. Can't go in there. It's locked. I thought so. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Archer. If you'll just stop and think, you'll know Miss <laughs> Claire wouldn't want Mr. Deming shot. You think that can stop me? You think you can stop me? A dirty oh, dog! Oh, oh, I, you, you can't shoot him in here. It is not good for the plant, <laughs> <laughs> and especially not today. Breath of life. Mayflower today. It's years Miss Claire's work for this day. Well, I never thought I'd see this day. Uh, no, did you? Oh, what a wonderful day it will be. Uh, and how she has worked for it. Uh, she has this, this eye that, that can see what isn't right and what looks right. Many's the time I Anthony, thought... I am pleased at the way you have always worked with Miss Claire. Now is not the time to stand there eulogizing her when she's... Things you don't know she is. Uh, oh, I know that. You think I could work with her and, and not know that she's more than I know she is? Well, if you love her, then you know that you've got to let me shoot the dirty dog. I'm not out of here. Not, not today. You'll break the glass. Anthony! Breath of life is in here. Look, I know how easy it is to turn life back. I know there's things that... That you mustn't hurt. Oh, yes, there's <laughs> From the gutter, I rise again, refreshed. One does. How do you like the way I entertain the nerve specials? Oh, dears, how could you joke about it? Whom are you trying to make here? 
I'm trying to make the world hear that there's there's a dirty dog! Listen, Harry, if you're thinking of shooting Dick, you can't shoot him while he's backed up against that door. Just what I told them, Miss Claire. Just what I told them. For that matter, it's quite dull if you have any idea of shooting. I may be dull. I know you think I am. But I'll show you that there's enough of that me. There's enough of that! To make yourself ridiculous. If I ran out and hid my head in the mud, would you think you had to shoot the mud? Hey! Well, you'd rather be shot. So you said that just to protect you. So change it to grass. Grass. If I hid my face in the grass, would you have to burn the grass? Dearest, how can you? When you know how much I love you, when you see how I'm suffering? Are you suffering? Look at me! <laughs> I should think it would do something to you. Oh, God! Have you no know heart? Yes, I have a heart. I came to say goodbye. God, have you no heart? Can't you at least wait till Dick is shot? Claire! Claire! Oh, they'll not be shot. Claire can spoil anything. Claire! Uh, and even you think this is so important. Harry thinks it's important he shoot Dick. Dick thinks it's important not to be shot. You think I mustn't shoot anyone, including myself. Can't any of you see that none of this is as important as where revolvers can't reach? I shall never shoot myself. I'm too interested in destruction to cut it short by shooting. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, you love me. But why do you bring it out here? It is not what this place is for. No. This place is for the destruction they can get through. Miss Claire, it is three o'clock. At three o'clock, we are to go look. I don't want to look. We're going to look together, Miss Claire. Don't you remember? Yes, that's it. You're afraid you haven't done it? Yes, but afraid I have. Well, that's just nervous, Miss Claire. I had the same feeling myself about setting a flying record. You have him? Sure. I was afraid to know. And almost as afraid of having done it as having not done it. I can't look. Not today. There'll be things to see today that we can't see tomorrow. Bring it here. Out from its place and where they are. I'll not look into its heart. No one must know before you know. Breath of life is here, Miss Claire. Look and see what you see. No one should see what you've not seen. I can't see until I know. Miss Claire. It has come through. It has gone on. Stronger. Stronger. Shorter. And more fragile. And more fragile. Look deep. No turning back. The form is set. Then it is out. You weren't. You are. Come and see, Miss Claire. It's so much more than I see. Well, I'm going to see. I've never seen anything like that before. There, there seems to be something alive in this in this outer shell. Yes, yes, it it, it says something new about form. So you've really done it. I must say, I'm mighty proud of you. It's a good deal of, deal of novelty, I should say. 
I'm sure you're going to have a great success with it. Everybody always likes something new. And I hope it will, uh, I hope it will set you up. You all go away. <clears throat> Why? Why, of course. But can't you take some pleasure in your work, Claire? Dr. Evans thinks you need a good long rest, and, and, and I think he's right. Can't this help you, Claire? Let this be your release, this breath of the uncaptured. Breath of the uncaptured. You are a novelty. Out, you have been brought in. A thousand years from now, when you are but a form too long repeated, perhaps the madness that gave you birth will burst again. And from the prison that is you will leap pent strangenesses to make a form that hasn't been to make a person new. And this we call creation. Go away. Claire, as you stood there, looking at the womb you breathed into life, you were beautiful to me beyond any other beauty. I can't go away from you. I can go with you where I could not go alone. If this is delusion, then I want that delusion. Speak to me, Claire. Speak to you. Do I know who you are? I think you do. Yes. But why are you something very far away? Come nearer. 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 But I think I am going the other way. No, dearest. Come to me. I am not going away. You're not going away. Not without you. You and I will be together. Is that what you wanted? Wanted? Are you trying to pull me down into what I wanted? Are you here to make me stop? Oh, help me see it. It's so important that I see it. Don't try to see it now. All at once, in peace, you'll see more. Peace? What is peace? What are you who take me from what I am into something else? I thought you knew, Claire. If I do not go with you now, I will always be alone. We'll run around together, up hills, all night on hills. All night on hills. We'll go on the sea in a little boat. On the sea in a little boat. That there are other boats on other seas. There are other boats on other seas. No, dearest. Not now. Not now. How dare you pass for something you are not? We are tired, and so we think it is you, but by standing far <laughs> off, you only pass. It is all within oneself, dear. When I had wanted you with all my wanting, why must I distrust you now? It's the fear of easy satisfaction, and I love you for it. Breath of life, are you love? Claire, don't go where we can't go. As there, you made life. Make for yourself a life. What is there for you? What is there? There are the dreams we haven't dreamed. There is the long and flowing pattern. I am tired. I am lonely. I am afraid. A 
And because we are tired, lonely, and afraid, we stop with you. And you don't love me? I'm fighting for my chance. I've wallowed at a coarse man's feet, been sprayed with dreams we've not yet come to. I've gone so low that words can't get there. I've never wrapped the mantle of my fears around me and called it loneliness and called it God. Only with life that waits have I kept faith. And only you have ever threatened me. And I will threaten you. I'm here to hold you from where I know you cannot go. You're trying what we cannot do. What else is worth trying? I love you. I love you. And I can keep you from, from farthness, from harm. You are mine, and you will stay with me. You hear me? You will stay with me. You can keep me? I will keep you. Safe. <laughs> Safe. Trust me. No! I will keep my life low, low that I may never stop myself or anyone. I would rather be the steam rising from the manure than be a thing called beautiful. Now I know who you are. Oh, it is you who puts out the breath of life. That it should be you. Never was loving strong as my loving of you. Do you know that? That it should be you. It is you. It is you. Come here. What are you doing? You are too much. You are not enough. A gift, breath of life. My gift.
Fix it in post.